Hello, my name is Sergeant Ryan T. Team, and today you're going to learn a little about me. Every Marine can choose a job field they would like to do. I chose field radio operator and was assigned to Infantry Battalion, 3rd Battalion, 2nd Marines in Camp Lejeune, North Carolina from the years 2015 to 2019. I really enjoyed my job and the ability to be with the Infantry Marines. Why I decided to join the Marines. When I was a child, I always wanted to be a Marine. My father is a Marine and he always spoke very highly of it and told my brother and I the things it taught him and how it helped him throughout the rest of his life. When I was in high school, I decided I wanted to do something that would really push me and better the future of myself and my family. To be a Marine, every Marine has three things they follow called values. They're honor, courage, and commitment. These are similar to the outstanding student values of accountable, understanding, and excellent. To be a Marine, you must also be a good leader and be able to listen to directions from someone else. Accountable, understanding, and excellent. Being accountable is something you will hear often in the Marines. You must always make the best decisions for not just you, but for the Marines following your instructions. You must take responsibility for your actions and have an understanding of the things you do. How does school relate to the Marines? You will use many things you learn in school in the Marines. For promotions and qualifications, you need to write papers and take tests, including math, reading, understanding, and problem solving. Places I've traveled. Started at South Carolina with boot camp. Then we went to North Carolina, which was my duty station. Then we traveled to Camp Wilson, 29 Palms, California for a training exercise. After that, we visited AP Hill, Virginia for another training exercise. Then after that, we got to use the training that we learned in Camp Schwab, Okinawa, Japan. Then we came back home, went to Bridgeport, California, Mississippi, 29 Palms, AP Hill, and Camp Schwab again. It was a lot of fun. I met a lot of new people. Here are some photos of me. On the left, there is me and Caden. He is in Miss Laura's class, second grade. On the right is me in Bridgeport, California during mountain warfare training. Uh, during that, we walked around a lot and uh, there was no vehicles. So we we hiked, that's what, that's what it's called. It's called a hike where you, you walk with a heavy backpack uh, to wherever you need to go. There's a picture of me on the left hiking. That's our backpacks. They're pretty heavy, um, but it's nothing that, that you can't do. On the right, there's a photo that's somewhere that we hiked to. So we had a break and I, I like the scenery, the mountains in the background. Uh, there was always something good to look at. On the left, there's me standing next to a big rock. It was a cool rock, I liked that rock. Um, so I decided to take a photo with it. On the right is me at Camp Fuji. That is Mountain Fuji in the background. Usually when it is cool, when it is warmer, actually, you'll, you'd be able to hike the mountain and go all the way to the top. Um, but when we were there, it was colder, so we were unable to do that.
Well, I want to say a big thank you to all the students and the teachers for listening and participating in the Veterans Day activities and taking the time to honor America's veterans. Continue to do the very best you can and remember to always be kind to each other.
Veterans Day is celebrated on no Veterans Day is celebrated on November 11th. Veterans Day is to honor people who have served the military. A veteran is a person who has risked their life in the military. A veteran is a teacher in my school, Mr. Corey. A it is important to remember our veterans because they have risked or lost their lives in the battles. They have went away from their families and friends to serve and help us. We should care about our veterans because they have risked their lives in our country.